Hi children, how are you? Hope you're all doing good. Fine? Very good. Okay, before going to the session, shall we start with prayer? Right. So close your eyes, join your hands and listen to me. Asatoma asat gamaye Tamasoma jode gamaye Mrityoma amritam gamaye Om Shanti 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 Fine children, now slowly open your eyes. Very good. So children, what did we saw in last sessions? We saw about trials of fiber. That is how the fabrics are manufactured from the fiber. Right? What is fabric? What are fiber? Like that we have saw in previous sessions. Right? Fabric is a cloth that are manufactured from thread. Okay, weaving a thread and thread can be manufactured from a fiber which is a hair like strand. Get it clear? So, among those we saw about natural fiber and synthetic fiber. Right? Natural fiber obtained from nature whereas synthetic fiber obtained from chemical laboratory through some chemical process. Right? An example for natural fiber and synthetic fiber are Cotton, jute, flax, coir, silk and wool or natural fibers. Nylon, polyester, acrylic or synthetic fibers. Right? And in previous session we saw about how the cotton fabric is made from cotton fiber. Right? It undergone some process such as ginning, spinning, weaving and knitting. Then we saw about jute. There also we saw about how the jute fabric is made from the jute fiber, right? So we can get the jute from the jute plant. It undergone some process through which we can obtain the jute fabric. The process are namely retting process, washing and drying, spinning and weaving. Right. So in this session today we are going to see about the another fiber another natural fiber namely flax okay flax it is of natural type and we can obtain from flax plant okay it requires the condition cold and humid climate okay under what condition this plant will grow it will grow under cold and humid climate right it is used for making clothes bed and bath fabric paper and fishing net okay the characters are similar to cotton okay strong but cotton are soft okay this flax is strong durable and sweat absorbing okay as like of cotton okay then these are the oldest fibers we can obtain the flax fibers from flax plant then it undergone the process similar as jute okay how the jute fiber undergone some process like way this flax fiber also undergone the same process okay finally the fiber will span into yarn okay the yarn that are that was spun were used in the making of fabrics okay the fabric is namely linen fabric right how the flax fa fabric is called as linen fabric okay so we can obtain the linen fabric from flax fiber using weaving or knitting process by either of the process we can produce or manufacture linen fabric from flax yarn 
pretty clear children so once again i'm repeating flax fibers are obtained from flax plants okay it undergone the process as same as jute right after getting the fiber the fibers are spun into yarns okay the yarns obtained from the flax fiber is further used to make the fabric by either weaving or knitting process and the fabric is termed as linen fabric could you clear these fabrics are suitable for warm weather as it readily absorbs the sweat could you clear children as like cotton it readily absorbs sweat so it is suitable for warm weather could you clear so next we are going to see about coir okay coir is also a natural fiber which can be obtained from coconut okay the conditions for growth are sandy soil humid climate mostly near seashore where the coconut trees will be seen children mostly near seashore no that's what here it is mentioned right so what are the conditions sandy soil humid climate mostly near seashore okay what are what are all the items we can be obtained from coir ropes carpets mattresses brushes floor mats door mats padding etc right and its called characteristics are rough and sturdy as like jute jute also rough and sturdy no likewise coir also rough and sturdy okay next how the coir will be obtained coir fiber will be obtained it will obtained from the outer husk of the coconut okay the husk will be present outside of the coconut from which we can obtain the coir fiber coconut fiber okay see in this picture from the coconut tree we can obtain the coconut and from the coconut that is the outer surface that is outer layer of the outer coat of the coconut will be termed as coconut husk from this coconut husk we can obtain the coconut fiber which is then made into a coconut pith okay see the fiber will be look like a hair like structure as we seen in early section right fiber so this coconut hair fiber will be look like hair like structure which can be made into soft durable thing as shown in the picture okay this is termed as coconut pith okay this coconut pith then undergone some process like washing drying like this undergone these process after undergo after undergoing these process it is get compressed and packed for manufacturing ropes bed mattresses stuffing etc in this way the coir fiber will be packed or manufactured could you clear children could you clear about the flax and coir these are all as like cotton and jute okay flax fiber is similar to cotton as cotton absorbs sweat flax also absorbs sweat okay they both are suitable for warm weather likewise coir and jute are rough and sturdy they are used for making ropes carpets mattresses etc okay now it's the homework part okay you have to find the differences between cotton and linen fabrics and jute and coir fabrics as they look same and their characteristics are same in what way they get differ you have to find and write the answer right so write the answer and upload your work in google classroom 
app. Okay, till then, stay connected, stay safe. Bye.